What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I've got an attribute update for you guys with my 94 overall playmaking post scorer. I know this build is kind of weird, but I like it a lot, like it fits my playstyle perfectly and I feel like this build can do almost everything. As you can see my layups are pretty good, my dunking is not the best, but I can get the job done with it. And then my midrange and 3, my midrange is a 63, my 3 pointer is a 60, that's not the best. But I do have a pretty good jump shot, so I can't hit like consistently, but I could hit maybe about half the shots I take, maybe a little more. And that's pretty good for a 63 pointer. My ball control is a 61, so I do have basic dribble moves, but having it be like a 61 instead of like a 25, that kind of helps with not getting ripped, especially when people spam in the post. And the reason I love this build is because my passing is at an 80, and that's incredible for a big man. Every time I get the rebound, I could just chuck it down the court without worrying. Like every once in a while, I'll get an animation where it's a turnover because I just pass it and it's a bad pass, but that rarely happens at the park. My post scoring is all at an 88, and then my rebounding is at a 77. I mean, that's decent, but I really want to get my last rebounding upgrade because rebounding, I'm not bad at it because I've had a glass clean in the past two years, so I know how to box out. I know how to get in position, but going against 7-3 glass cleaners, it's kind of annoying. So if I could get that one last rebounding upgrade, that would be great. And my defense isn't the best. My steal's a 70, which I'm actually surprised. That's honestly higher than I expected. And my block is only a 69, so you're not going to see me getting many blocks. And my shot contest is 71, which is also a little below average, but I think my defense is pretty good, so I don't have to worry about that as much. And the vertical is not looking too great. It's only a 52, and then my lateral quickness is only a 51, so... That's kind of the downside to this build. I made it max weight so I can body more people in the post and because of that his vertical is super low and his lateral quickness is low because he's much slower. But he's actually not that slow. He has a 60 speed and that's the reason I made a power forward instead of a center because they have better badges and they're also much faster. They have more vertical. So my speed and vertical aren't that high but it's much higher than what a 7 foot 3 center has. And then acceleration is just one higher than speed and my strength it's an 88 which is pretty good, but I can still get bodied by people with 99 strength. That's the thing that sucks. Like, they could just bully me in the post, 7-3 post scorers, 7-3 glass cleaners. All 7-foot-3 inside builds can just body me in the paint, which is kind of annoying. But, like I said before, my defense is kind of good, so for the most part, I know when to jump, so I can actually get stops. And then last but not least, stamina, it's a 99, that doesn't really matter. And last time I did an attribute update, I had every single badge except for quick reflexes, but now I have every single badge in the game that I can get which is amazing because I have alpha dog which is honestly an underrated badge because when your teammates are cold it boosts your shooting your rebounding and I honestly I think it boosts everything but I just know it boosts shooting and rebounding by five so I can shoot a lot better when my teammates are cold I can get rebounds a lot better and all that then I do have bronze defensive badges I have defensive stopper and rim protector and I also have bronze hustle rebounder which helps a lot because even though it's only bronze it's much better than not having it at all and the great part about this build is it has so many different types of badges. Like right here you can see I have pick and roller which is like an athletic finisher badge. Then I have pick and popper which is like a stretch big badge. And pick and popper helps so much. It helps me hit more consistently. So when I set screens I don't always roll even though people expect me to because I'm a post scorer. I sometimes fade and I can hit because silver pick and popper boosts my shooting by so much off a of pick and pop. And then I have silver flashy passer which makes good highlights. Midrange Deadeye can help me hit some lightly contested shots which I like a lot because even though my midrange is low, if people sleep on me and they leave me a little bit of space, I can hit. And like I said before, I love the badges on this build. I have silver posterizer and silver acrobat right here. And then with the gold badges, I love it because I think I have 10 or 11 gold badges. Like if you look, I have all these gold badges. I have difficult shots which helps me with post fades. I have bruiser which helps me body people. I have Gold Dimer, which is honestly one of my favorite badges on this build. Because with Gold Dimer, my teammates can hit a lot more shots, especially after I get a rebound. I'm going to get double teamed in the paint because they have two or more people crashing. So I could just get an open teammate. They have a higher chance to make their shots. Then if I'm playing with someone who can't shoot that well, they can make their shots better. And then once I hit 99 overall, I'm going to have Dimer Hall of Fame on a big man, which is honestly crazy. And I do have Relentless Finisher, which is probably also one of my favorite badges in the game because I can take some crazy layups like not really driving layups since my driving layup is in the 70s but with standing layups I can just take layups on guards all day like they'll be heavily contested but they'll just go right in and like I said before I finally got quick reflexes gold and this badge it's kind of underrated because a lot of builds have it I'm not sure if every build has it I want to say every build has it but I don't know 
but this badge it helps you with stealing it's kind of like how reaction time was in nba 2k16 where if you go to the training facility your reaction time goes up this is kind of like what it is and i feel like quick reflexes last year it wasn't that good because passing lane steals were kind of hard because defense was really bad in nba 2k18 but now in the passing lanes you can actually get steals with this badge like if you time it right you have a high chance to get the steal and then i do have brick wall which is a very good badge and then my primary badges, I have Post Spin Technician, which is great. It helps me abuse guards a lot. I have Drop Stepper, which is great. And then Up and Under Specialist, it's kind of an underrated badge because Up and Unders are very basic moves in this game. But if I do an Up and Under, I get a boost on my shot. And then if I fake my guy out, it'll help even more. And last but not least, we got Lob City Passer and Break Starter. So Lob City Passer, I don't use that much because I play with sharpshooters most of the time. But then Break Starter, this badge is amazing. Every time I get a rebound, like I said before, I can just chuck it down the court and not have to worry. In Pro-Am, it's kind of a different story. I can chuck it a little bit past half court, but full court passes, they happen every once in a while, but in Pro-Am, it's kind of hard to do that because the sliders are up and the court is much bigger. Right now, I'm 22.9% to my next cap breaker, and I honestly think I'm gonna get double barred, because I got double barred from 90 to 91 and from 91 to 92. So the past two cap breakers, I have not been double barred, so I don't think I'm gonna be 95 anytime soon, because I'm probably gonna get double barred, but even if I do get double barred, the attributes that I hope improve from the cap breakers are mid-range, three-pointer, or rebounding those are probably the three most important to me right now so that i could shoot more consistently and so that i can get rebounds like steals don't matter that much block kind of block doesn't matter as much but i think shot contest matters vertical kind of goes along with rebounding like i'll be fine if i get vertical instead of rebounding lateral quickness i mean it's probably only going to go up by one or two so that won't do much and then speed and acceleration also don't matter that much to me because they'll also go up by one or two and the one thing that I want so badly is unlimited boost. Like, I spin the wheel every single day. I've spun it like 20-something times. I've gotten the black space right next to the bonus three times, which is so annoying. For my jump shot, I have a LaMarcus Aldridge base, which is good. For the release, I'm not going to tell you guys that yet because I'm going to drop a jump shot video in the next few days. But the release makes the shot so easy to time. And then for my dribble pull-ups, I have Dirk Nowitzki, even though I don't do spin jumpers or dribble pull-ups. For my hop jumper, I have James Harden. And there's this one really good post move that I can use into a hop jumper. And also, I'll be dropping an advanced post tutorial in a few days. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to drop a like. For my post fadeaway, I have fade 12. Not that many people use this, but I love the animations that this one gets. And for post hooks, I don't do them that often, but post hook 3 is easily the best. For post hop shots, I use post hop shot 8. I feel like a lot of people use this one, and I can definitely see why. And then for the post shimmy fade and hook, I don't do those a lot at all, but I have shimmy fade 8 and shimmy hook 2. For my dribble moves, I'm not going to read them out, but I'm going to scroll down. You guys can pause the video whenever you want if you want to use these dribble moves and make sure to go watch some of my gameplays to see me using these dribble moves and here are my layups and dunks and this dunk under the basket athletic flushes it has one cockback animation that's kind of bad but other than that the animations are crazy and this dunk package is so hard to get blocked on and then here are the rest of the dunks like the dribble moves i'm just gonna scroll down and then at the very bottom i have big man contact dunk packages which is super helpful and then I do have pro alley-oop finishes. And I didn't think my build could get park dunks, but I somehow have park dunks on this build. Like, I only bought them a week or two ago because I had no idea that I could get them, but I guess I can. And these are just the three flashy passes that I have equipped because I don't really like all the packages. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys have any questions about my build, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'm out. Peace.